In 2154, the natural resources of the Earth have been depleted. The Resources Development Administration also known as, RDA, mines the valuable mineral unobtainium on Pandora, a moon in the Alpha Centauri star system. Pandora, whose atmosphere is inhospitable to humans, is inhabited by the Navi, 10-foot-tall, 3.0 meters, blue-skinned, sapient humanoids that live in harmony with nature. To explore Pandora, genetically matched human scientists use Navi-human hybrids called avatars. Paraplegic marine Jake Sully is sent to Pandora to replace his deceased identical twin, who had signed up to be an operator. Avatar program head Dr. Grace Augustine considers Sully inadequate but accepts him as a bodyguard. While escorting the avatars of Grace and Dr. Norm Spellman, Jake's avatar is attacked by Pandoran wildlife, and he flees into the forest, where he is rescued by female Navi Neytiri. Suspicious of Jake, she takes him to her clan. Neytiri's mother, Moa, the clan's spiritual leader, orders her daughter to initiate Jake into their society. Colonel Miles Courage, head of RDA's security force, promises Jake that the company will restore the use of his legs if he provides information about the Navi and their gathering place, the giant home tree, under which is a rich deposit of unobtainium. Learning of this, Grace transfers herself, Jake, and Norm to an outpost. Jake and Neytiri fall in love as Jake is initiated into the tribe. He and Neytiri choose each other as mates. When Jake attempts to disable a bulldozer threatening a sacred Navi site, Administrator Parker Selfridge orders Hometree destroyed. Despite Grace's argument that destroying Hometree could damage Pandora's biological neural network, Selfridge gives Jake and Grace one hour to convince the Navi to evacuate. Ake confesses that he was a spy and the Navi take him and Grace captive. Courage's soldiers destroy Hometree, killing many, including Neytiri's father, the clan chief. Moa frees Jake and Grace, but they are detached from their avatars and imprisoned by Korich's forces. Pilot Trudy Chacon, disgusted by Korich's brutality, airlifts Jake, Grace, and Norm to Grace's outpost. Grace is shot during the escape. Jake regains the Navi's trust by connecting his mind to that of Torrid, a dragon-like creature feared and revered by the Navi. At the Sacred Tree of Souls, Jake pleads with Moa to heal Grace. The clan attempts to transfer Grace into her avatar with the aid of the Tree of Souls, but she dies. Supported by new chief Suti, Jake unites the clan, telling them to gather all the clans to battle the RDA. Courage organizes a strike against the Tree of Souls to demoralize the Navi. Jake prays to the Navi deity Awa via a neural connection with the Tree of Souls. Suti and Trudy are among the bottle's heavy casualties. The Navi are rescued when Pandoran wildlife unexpectedly join the attack and overwhelm the humans, which Neytiri interprets as Awa answering Jake's prayer. Courage, wearing an AMP suit, escapes his crashed aircraft and breaks open the Avatar Link unit containing Jake's human body, exposing it to Pandora's poisonous atmosphere. As Courage prepares to slit Jake's Avatar's throat, he is killed by Neytiri, who saves Jake from suffocation, seeing his human form for the first time. With the exceptions of Jake, Norm, and a select few others, all humans are expelled from Pandora. Jake is permanently transferred into his avatar with the aid of the Tree of Souls.